Well, hello, Internet. Today, I am going to present to you the absolute final video. Today, we're going to talk about locked CSS layouts. All of the layouts I've been showing you are known as liquid layout. A liquid layout is a layout in which the web page will change and resize as a person resizes their browser. A locked layout, on the other hand, will stay in place no matter how the browser is resized. Each type of layout has their own positives and negatives, so choose whichever fits your specific situation. Now here is how you set up a locked layout. Again, extremely simple. All you need to do is create what would be considered a master div and so surround all of your other divs with this master div. And of course you would want to make a fixed width for this div. You probably would want to add padding to the top of the div and padding on the bottom. You definitely would want to choose a background color and more than likely the background color of this master all surrounding div is going to be exactly the same color as your body tag. Then you would want to set up margin left to auto and margin right to auto. If you do this your web page will be centered automatically. That's all there is to creating a locked CSS layout. Just make sure you understand the opening div for the master div would appear right after the body opening. And the closing div for this master div would appear right before the closing body tag. Now I'm going to show you how to place divs exactly where you want. You can tell the browser exactly where to place your divs right down to the pixel. If you do this, this is called absolute positioning. I have to warn you though that it is very easy to break the structure of a web page if you don't precisely calculate the exact placement of your divs. Over the years when I've been called into a company to fix CSS errors, it's almost always had something to do with absolute positioning. The major difference between normal and absolute positioning is that the order of the HTML code doesn't matter. Think of your divs as playing cards. You could stack them up on top of each other with absolute positioning. In fact, there is a new property for absolute positioning divs, and it is known as the Z-Index. Here is some CSS code that I will use to demonstrate absolute position divs. Here is an absolute position sidebar. This is a class that's defined. And then here's a background color, padding, position absolute tells the browser that you are going to position this absolutely down to the pixel. You do that by typing in top, 100 pixels means that you want this sidebar to appear 100 pixels from the top of the web page and right zero pixels means you want it to be stuck to the right side of the master div. You want it to be a width of 200 and then you define the z-index. The higher the z-index, the higher on the page this div will appear. So z-index zero if placed in the same position as this z-index class that's defined right here, this div, would appear underneath of this sidebar div. So that's absolute positioning. A div element that is relatively positioned is positioned relative to another div. Welcome to another technique that can completely break your page design if not used properly. Here is the code needed to relatively position anything. What I'm doing here is defining a class named sidebar and I'm defining that I want it to be positioned relative to the div it lies inside of. So it's just a div with an image inside of it. And I want it to lie 100 pixels from the left side of that div it lies inside and 100 pixels down from the div that it lies inside. And that's relative positioning. Have you ever been on a web page and seen a pop-up window that was embedded in the web page itself and followed you around as you scroll? Well, to end this whole CSS style HTML tutorial, I'll show you how to make one. This is what I'm referring to, by the way. Here's an example. This div is actually going to stay in the same position no matter what I do. That's how you would create an irritating pop-up. Well, if you want to create an irritating pop-up, here's how to do it. Define a class named whatever. Then what you want to do is define a border, maybe. I'm using dotted here, bordered color background color, width of 200 pixels, you definitely want to define a width, text align it to center, you can do whatever you want with that. This is the part that's really important though. Here we're defining position fixed and this is what keeps your little div in the same position no matter how anybody scrolls. And here we're defining we want it to be set 
100 pixels from the top of the browser window and 300 pixels from the left. Well, now you know pretty much every single thing there is to know about cascading style sheets. I left out a couple properties that only work in one browser and don't work in other ones. But aside from those broken properties, you know pretty much everything. Um, if you have any comments, leave them below. If you have any questions, and if you'd like to see presentations done on JavaScript, PHP, MySQL, maybe on WordPress themes, you can also comment below. Hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed making it. Till next time.